guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm decorating a patron spread for Shannon and Shannon requested Christmas in July. So this is gonna be a super fun spread. I'm so excited. So I pulled out a couple of sticker books from Planny Thing. I've got Seasonal Fun and Houses and Trees Part 2. And I'll be sure and put my Planny Thing affiliate link in the description box. But this one has some pretty uh, holiday stickers here in the back. So pretty. And then along with this section in here, I thought I might use some of these holiday, like Christmas decorated houses. Look how cute. I also pulled out a few Christmas sticker books from the Happy Planner as well as Functionally Chic Red Blooms because I may work some poinsettias in here. I'm not sure. There's some really pretty ones in here, right here, and they go really pretty with these, these kind of stickers, the planty thing ones. So I'm gonna have all that to the side and just kind of get started. I'm kind of thinking about doing a little scene at the bottom, but I just don't know how this night sky is gonna look next to each other because it's just kind of filled in partially. See what I mean? So let me do like a tree in between. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck that right under there. Oh, it's so cute and cozy already. And let's see, how about a smaller tree also? right beside it, and then let's go back to another house. What about these? This would fit perfectly, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm gonna put the tree down first. Cozy and cute. Okay, let's get another house that maybe already has a tree. Like that one. And we're gonna need more trees in the back in the distance though. I think that's gonna help it look cohesive, you know, with the night sky stopping like that. Okay, so now we need another one back here. Okay, that worked out perfect. And probably gonna need part of a tree over here. Just like that, but I'm gonna cut around the, the house part very carefully here. Okay, there we go. Now I can just tuck this right behind it. How cute. But I'm gonna go, need to go ahead and put a tree behind it. So just like right here. And just cut a little bit of it out. Okay, and I need to cut a little bit more of it out over here. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to go ahead and do this one, but I'm not gonna stick it all the way down yet because I want there to be a big tree back there. Okay, I want this one here, but I don't want all of it. I'm gonna cut some of it out. So it doesn't mess up the sticker and show through. a bit of this scrap over here on the side. This is so much fun. I hope this is what you had in mind for Christmas in July, Shannon. So let's do some more trees. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. And along the top, I think I want to use some of these poinsettias in this functionally chic red blooms. Okay, so let's start off up here. And I think I just want to border almost all the way across. sort of on an angle so I can use it two different places. to be have a clean edge just like at the bottom so I'm just going to trim that off and carry it over to the other side all right and then this that piece there Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. There we go. Okay, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And then I'm gonna keep this for myself, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and then let's get a long box over here. And I grabbed the all red sticker book from the Sticker Whisperers, just one of these. I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little, little bit of poinsettia action on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and draw some lines in this. going to look in this uh, Christmas book from last year for a quote. This ho 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 is really cute and kind of goes along perfectly with the colors and the theme. And it would 
fit perfectly, wouldn't it? Oh, it's cute. Okay, and then let's see what else. And I'm gonna put just a little poinsettia action over in this corner. Okay, I think I wanna bring in some pattern boxes. So I've got this plaid tidying sticker book that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year. And I wanna use this really pretty red and green plaid. I went ahead and just copied that paper on some sticker paper and cut out the boxes. Cause I think these are really just gonna jazz it up. But before I put any of that down, I've also got Mojo Jojo Plans winter boxes. And I'm gonna grab a green, like the darker green. So I'm gonna wanna do, I think I'm gonna wanna do some of that pattern underneath it, that plaid, but I'm not sure where, how yet, so I'm just gonna wait a second. Okay, so I want a big quote, or I wanted a big quote, and I was looking through my books and I didn't find what I wanted, but I pulled out some of the big Mammy Sticks letters and just spelled out joy in this red, and I thought I would put that as a big quote over here. So I know, I know Shannon likes more decorative than functional for the most part, which, and this is a big, so it's already more functional because there's more space, but I'm gonna still put this kind of low so that I can still do some function. And I think I'm gonna like drop it down like the O a little bit more. And then, of course, this is all subject to change. You never can tell if I'm gonna change my mind. But right now, I think it looks really cute. Except for the Y is not straight. So yeah, I think that's cute. So that's one big quote. And then I have this printed sticker paper. I made a copy of that paper I showed you earlier. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that like behind these boxes. So let's see, I do want some of the red to show for sure. Let's just cut this down. Hmm, how about right here? You know, just where it looks like it's kind of layered underneath there. That's cute. Okay, so just like that, and I'm gonna, instead of lifting up the boxes, I'm just gonna cut around it very gently because I just love a plaid at Christmas. Even though it's not technically Christmas, it's Christmas in July. All right. I think we're good gonna put right in this corner just like that let's get a double box over here okay I don't have a double box in the green from this book this one I've already used it so I'm gonna go back to rainbow boxes. This green is a tiny bit darker, but I think it'll be fine. I think I'm just going to put it right here. Take this ruler and draw a line from the O like it's um, like it's a wreath hanging. And then just draw a little bow. That's cute. And then let's maybe get a few little some kind of leaves inside that O. I know this would be perfect. Something like this. I'm gonna put that in there. And 
And then for over here in the corner, I've got this Christmas book again. I want to use maybe one of these, but not quite that large. Kind of, it has a little bit of that sugar cookie like over here. Okay, I am going to white out a little bit of this so it doesn't show through. Okay, oh, that's perfect. Let's come back over here and do a, like a smaller green box. Back in the winter book. And back to the other red book some more uh this one definitely needs some red i think i'm thinking about putting a like a red box as a header yeah i think that would be cute so let me go ahead and do some white out underneath that as well and then over here bit and add this to this one. I'm just going to take part of this little plaid piece of paper just to kind of pull it together like that one. Just tuck that right under there. Oh, it's getting, it's turning out cute. Shannon, you ready for Christmas in your 116 degree heat? Okay, I'm gonna do a red one this size right down here. So I'm gonna lift up this tree. do a couple of small ones right down here. And I don't think I'll do any more on the top on this right side because I've got that larger box toward the top and I'm going to end up drawing some more lines also. Okay, I think that's plenty of boxes. I'm just wondering, do I need a little bit more plaid anywhere? I think I will have just a little bit by this box. Okay, and I'm just gonna trim a little bit of this off here. Okay, I think I wanna figure out where I wanna draw some lines next. I think definitely up here. I'm not gonna take it all the way down. And then, let's see, let's do some here. And then a few Okay, I feel like that's good for the lines. Now I want to find uh, maybe a couple more smaller quotes. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this Christmas and then love. Okay. A 
Okay, I like that right there because it's a solid red quote, just like this other one, the joy kind of balances. Now I feel like I need another red and gold and green maybe over here somewhere. Let me see what I've got in this sticker book. Okay, I could go with naughty or nice. I think I kind of like it right here. Okay, good. We're good on quotes. We'll just need some little words here and there and some bullet points. I'm kind of thinking gold. What do y'all think? Let me grab those. Okay, so let's get a couple here. Yeah, I like that little bit of gold. And then I wanna do some here and here. Okay, let's do important in this box. To do right there. And then let's also do today right down here. And remember in this one, And I'm not gonna put one over here or over here. Now we just need some finishing touches. I'm gonna use some more flowers, definitely some more of the poinsettias. How about this little piece? Just take this little bit off here. Yeah, it kind of needs something right there. So let me go ahead and trim off this part that you can tell it was trimmed off of something else. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like that really helped. I don't know, I'm not really liking the plaid on this box at all. I think I'm just gonna take that off. And put some flowers there. And then I'll, I'll use the plaid over here between these two. Okay, oh, it's very pretty. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more flowers. I'm gonna do a little bit on this side. I just need some little finishing touches. And actually this that I just cut from that piece, I could use in the corner of the box, and I like the inside of it. Cute. And then something just like a little slender piece along the side there. Now that I see that, I think I'm going to put this over here. Or maybe here. Okay, cute. I'm going to add flowers to the rest of the boxes and then I think that'll be good. Okay, a little bit there and all right, I'm gonna use this little scrap here. Okay, let me use that up there. This is a little bit too long with this though. 
Okay, so that is Shannon's Christmas in July spread. I hope you love it, Shannon, because I had so much fun playing with these beautiful Christmas stickers. I was so happy to use the houses and trees, uh, you know, and not have to wait till December to, to use them. And those planty thing houses and trees paired so pretty with the Live Love Posh Poinsettias from the red, uh, functionally chic red blooms. Love the plaid. I just love how it came together. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.